the Outback Wilderness has also quietly become kind of like one of the favorites of the off-roading community when the off-roading doesn't necessitate low range. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, tell, I mean, Alcan Rally itself is a whole story. So how'd you get involved and, and what's your, uh, what's your psychological investment in this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need therapy afterwards. So, uh, <laughs> Good kind. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's the, the Outback Wilderness as we first kind of got it. We threw on a Rally Innovations light bar and uh, four Light Force Venom lights. There it is with the li- full livery oh, on it. Um, but so we have, we, I'd always kind of wanted to do this in 2020. We did it in our own personal vehicle in 1991, Mitsubishi Pajero with a diesel engine in it, drove all the way up to the Arctic Ocean in February, March, 2020. Uh, at the end of the 2020, uh, uh, rally, we had the opportunity to sign up for 2022. We, without hesitation, did so. 2020 was a summer version. It's like the Olympics where they do the, well, they'll do a winter, then a summer, then a winter, et cetera. It always mm-hmm. makes it for two years. Yeah. So um, this year's iteration went from Kirkland, Washington, to uh, as far north as Dawson City, uh, Yukon. Hmm. Uh, went over into uh, went over, well. It's going to be bad. So, but went over oh, yeah. into uh, there. Yeah, went over into Skagway, Alaska, and then uh, as far east as uh, Yellowknife. Northwest Territories, and then finished in beautiful Jasper, Alberta. So, um, hmm. but the the uh, the Outback Wilderness, uh, we partnered with Subaru of America on that one, and I mean, I <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was pretty much the perfect vehicle for the really. For the huh. I've had enough room for the gear. It had <laughs> 260 horsepower, so enough power to get going. It had nine and a half inches of ground clearance which was great for the bad roads and the frost heaves and all that stuff mm-hmm. and uh a lot of sus- plenty of suspension travel for what we were doing mm-hmm. and it was comfortable i mean it really was my only criticism is is i i would have preferred to have a manual transmission which you can't get in the outback wilderness it uh, comes with the cvt but uh, otherwise never good no, it, it, CVTs are great for fuel economy. You have better with it when you're but, picking it over to manual transmission. I mean, yeah, in, yeah. in the actual time section, yeah, the time we put system. it into the manual mode. But then I would have to remember, you know, okay, it, well, we're slowing down. We gotta, yeah. So the mud right. up there, the dirt, they put down calcium, calcium chloride. chloride. <laughs> oh, and uh, and it's unbelievable. It turns into this like Adobe. And it's uh it's crazy. So and very dusty, incredible amounts of bugs. Um, but uh it was a it was a great experience. Uh we're already signed up for the twenty twenty four winter rally again. Nice. Uh we're gonna, gonna go do that vehicle T V D and then um but we're already we've already got a car number and, and uh looking forward to that. Oh, wow. uh, just about four hundred days until that. Not that I'm counting. Yeah. Well, the crazy it's thing calendar, is, is yeah. it's the winter version, so it's a little over a year away. We're literally T minus almost like a little over yeah, a that's, year. So I'm that's already soon. like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> like there. Like, you, you got the bug, and then once it starts, it's, oh, it dude, doesn't let up. Hard. It's hard. hard. Like, it's I'll tell you Alcan, what. Alcan is a, Alcan is a, it becomes a bit of a, 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 a fraternity or, or mm. a, a wrong word family it's family. yeah yeah that's what i meant was there's no hazing it a bit of family slightly dysfunctional but uh <laughs> you're slightly you're among, dysfunctional you're among fringe lunatics like what are we doing like there were i remember the day on the summer <laughs> rally where we went 16 hour drive day and we're just like <laughs> I, I was, I remember getting tired, not tired, exhausted, and just being like, this is supposed to be fun. Why did we do this again? <laughs> but, you know, it, it is fun. But it's, it is, there are some very long days, and there's some uh, very uh, uh, challenging drive routes that really do, you don't realize it until you're in the thick of things. And it becomes a psychological day when you're doing these 800 mile drive days 
Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, in the summer when the sun doesn't set until very late, but uh, everyone's like, oh, you'll never bother to use those light force lights. It stays so light. Well, I'll tell you what. We we used all four of them and dodged porcupines and deer and oh. all kinds of animals and moose yep. and, yep. and all kinds of stuff. Use, I don't know if you can see this very easily. Um, this this is the um we tried to institute our uh we're in the sop class so the seat of pants class it might be kind of hard to see it's <laughs> long division for all the time oh. speed distance so the time speed sections of it those that of you that aren't familiar with time speed distance rallying this is not a go fast go hard go long see who's the quickest to get to your end goal this is an endurance precision rally mm -hmm. so you know like andy's saying you have to be on time on route you know, accuracy. It's all about accuracy. accuracy. Yeah. So yeah. when he's saying that, it's like, chess, instance, not bowling. It's a challenge <laughs> to just be like, he wants to go, go, ah, no, you know, he wants that immediate, like, you know, that I want to react mm -hmm. down here or, exactly, or whatever. Down immediately. And so he needs to finesse it. And so I need to, as a navigator, try to do interim, you know, like intervals to be like, okay, mm -hmm. can you be, so I'll read this. It's so. an example. The Alkian 5000 is an is a is a combination of sleep deprivation and long division. <laughs> and hunger and so, well, math and when you're dog. tired and hungry is what I just yeah. Said. I mean, yeah. it doesn't tired have to be math. it doesn't have to be fun to be rewarding. <laughs> that's, that's not always fun. Right? Box for over 5,000 miles with your husband and lovey honey, um, <laughs> or, or your competitor, and it doesn't matter if it's a uh, mm. summer version like we just did with Subaru, or if it's the winter version like we did in 2020 with our right hand drive diesel 1990s Pajero, which who would do that in temps of negative 43 it's below, like different creature, you know, because we do that. that. Um, you know, up to the Arctic Ocean. Who does that? Only French lunatics. It's not an off-road rally. This, but but this one, especially in the winter version, is an ice and snow rally. But the summer version, like what, what we did here with um with Subaru, that was we did all the alternative uh, alternative, excuse me, um uh, gra uh gravel and dirt stuff. Yeah, there's 2020. That uh the vehicle that we owned that we did it with. But the 2022 we just got done uh with Subaru with. We did all the alternative dirt and gravel. That was 1,500 miles, about 1,500 hmm. miles of dirt and gravel oh, that yeah. we did. Oh, my we gosh. We drive it from Los Angeles to Calgary on nothing but dirt. What tires were on it? Uh, it came with Yokohama. It, it, yeah, the stock, it was the a stock, stock Yokohamas? Um, Geoland wow. or G015s, which, are, which is a tire we've owned before. It's a great tire. Uh Super good huh. in a lot of a lot of conditions. So and we had zero flats. We carried two full size wow. spares and no flats. Two full size spares because we figured, you know what? If we don't, something's going to happen. If we did, nothing's, nothing's going to happen. happen. Of course, we, decided oh, yeah, yeah. we would. Nothing would happen. Yeah. And nothing did. But then well, we carried the weight. So yeah, it's it's the better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. But it's always the opposite of what you Absolutely. end up doing. So so, so people. Always, People always make fun of all the extra, you know, gear that we end up carrying, and Andy's starting to make these uh, funny luggage cart reviews through the hotel. Oh I've yeah, those, those are <laughs> those are very very good. <laughs> it's a commentary on how much <laughs> shit you end up. But because they make sense, now you know that we just, you know, we're always prepared. So yeah, you know, oh, understeers Anyways. at the limit. <laughs> so how does for, uh for our luggage cart? <laughs> <laughs> 